yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from Yo, what is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger for y'all. I hope the camera is focused. I noticed in yesterday's upload the kind of, the outro was kind of out of focus the whole time. It was like focusing on the background instead of focusing on me. So hopefully it's focused right now. I'm going to know when I edit this video. But anyway, as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail today, we will be making Vader legal. I, I guess you know what I'm saying huge shout out to today's sponsor Wild Hammer Motorsports if you haven't already make sure you guys go tap in with them all their information is linked in the description down below and the Instagram pops up right here the promo code pops up right here make sure you guys go tap in with them you can get your license plate bracket or you can get whatever you want for your Camaro um, er like I said everything is linked in the description down below if you're interested make sure you guys go tap in with them But today we are actually gonna be putting on my front license plate. What? Yes, I said We will be putting on my front license plate Bro, what are you talking about man? Bro, I'm out man. I think it's tripping on Vader my car front license plate Unheard of, you know what I'm saying? I've never done that out of all nine or ten cars that I've owned None of them have ever had a front license plate on them until today why I'm putting on the front plate today You know what I'm saying as you guys know you're supposed to have a front plate in Texas um, And I went ahead and got the custom J.I. 1LE plates. So what's the point of paying for two plates and only rocking one? You know what I'm saying, but I I decided if I'm gonna put it on my car and I'm gonna put it on the front end of my car I'm not gonna put holes in my car. Yes, there's already holes drilled in from factory um, But I had them remove the little guard that they put on there over at the dealership before I even drove off the lot because I can't do the front license plate bracket like Straight in the middle and as you guys gonna see today We will be putting it on but it won't be in the middle and it doubles back as a tow hook and the front license plate bracket. So again, shout out to ZL1 add-ons. Shout out to Wild Hammer Motorsports. This install is super easy. It doesn't take long at all. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. All right, y'all. So hopping straight into the box, man. Again, shout out Wild Hammer. Shout out ZL1 add-ons. If you guys are big OGs to the channel and you were around when I had Mamba, my 2015 Camaro 2SS, then you guys would be familiar with this joint right here. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we had the ZL1 add-ons red tow hook on Mamba, man. I really missed that car. But what's different is in this box right here. So, yes, we have a tow hook. But, like I told y'all, we will be putting on my front license plate. And this is the cool thing about ZL1 add-ons and Wild Hammer. So, in this box right here, we actually have the plate bracket the license plate bracket that actually mounts up to the stud for the tow hook so I can double back and run the tow hook and I can run the license plate so at the drag strip I can swap out the plate and put the tow hook on and then daily driving I can put the front plate on and not have to worry about getting pulled over for not having the front plate or even giving the police a reason to look at my car in a way to where they'd be like okay what can I stop this guy for what can I pull this guy over for you know what I'm saying so with that being said man got a little bit of hardware right here got the bracket I'm super stoked to put this on, man. So let's go ahead and just get straight into it. All right, y'all. So we got the plate out. You know what I'm saying? We got the bracket itself. Now, the first step you're going to want to do is actually take the tow hook off of the little, the little bracket. Let me get this hook off. And then we'll go ahead and bolt up the plate afterwards. So that's going to be the last step. But let's get this together real quick. Alright y'all, so basically this is what the end result should be once you take the tow hook off. Then you're going to come to the front of the car. And what's crazy is, like I was telling y'all, 
on Vader, I actually did, not Vader, on Mamba, I actually did the same uh, tow hook install, but for the six gens, they already have a tow hook pre, in, like, the threads for a tow hook pre-installed in the bumper. So all you have to do is take off this little vent right here, and then you just screw this joint in. And if you were just doing the tow hook, then it would literally be just screwing the tow hook on. So with that being said, some people say you can use a flathead. Some people say you can just pop it off. We're going to see what works best for us, and then I'll let you guys know what happened. Many unbearable hours later. All right, y'all. In order to get this off, man, you're definitely going to have to use some force to pop these two locking clips out of place. And then it should actually just slide to the right and slide right out. As y'all can see, definitely struggling. But we're going to get it out. Just got to finagle a little bit. So hold on, y'all. I guess I'll update y'all when I get it all the way out. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, finally got this piece out. That's how it looks. Nice and clean. OEM. Again, if you guys are OG members to the channel, then you guys know when I did Mamba, I really wanted to make sure that I was able to retain that little plastic square piece so there wouldn't be just a hole around the tow hook and it would look OEM plus and it look like it's supposed to be there. Now, thankfully, on the 6.5s and the 6 gens, you know what I'm saying, they already set it up for you so it does look like it's supposed to be there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the rod that goes for the tow hook and the license plate bracket itself. We're going to go ahead and screw that in, tighten it down, and then we'll start mounting the license plate bracket to the rod. Alright y'all, so got the rod installed right now. Just used the 19 millimeter wrench to tighten it down so now it's nice and snug. Now we'll go get that license plate bracket and we'll work on installing it to the bra uh, to the brace itself. So, as you guys can see, this is the bracket right here and this is the hardware that we were provided. Basically, how, you, how this works is we're gonna take this bolt that's right here and we're gonna take a 3 eighths Allen key um, and we're gonna tighten down that bolt with the washer. Let me show y'all. This joint in the washer. We're gonna feed the washer, feed the washer through on the bolt itself first, and then you'll feed the bolt through the oh dang, I just dropped it. Sorry, pollen is going crazy right now. Allergy season is not the best season for J.I. So, if it sounds like I got the snuffles, it's because I do. But, now that we got that washer through, you're literally going to drop the bolt through this hole right here. So, that's what it's going to look like. Washer and bolt. Alright, y'all. So, this is what the license plate bracket looks like installed without the license plate on right now. Like I said, you want to take that bolt and that washer go ahead and screw them into the shaft that's screwed into the bash bar of the car and then you'll just go ahead and take the hardware that they provided take your license plate and mount the license plate to the bracket and this is what it'll look like got the front license plate put on the car honestly no holes had to be drilled and to me personally it looks way better not being in the center off to the side a little bit because it's different and it just ties in the signature with the red plate yeah man definitely ties in the whole front end as you guys know i only like to put the signatures on the windshield in the front and then tint that joint out and then had a banner going in the back so that little splash of red plus that little hint of red right there definitely finishes off the entire look that I was going for and it still doubles back as a tow hook so say I'm at the track all I got to do is take those four bolts out take the 3 8 allen key bolt out and then throw the, the tow hook in and tighten it down with a 19 millimeter wrench dude it's like 
it'll take five seconds. So y'all, with all that being said, that's actually gonna wrap up today's video. As you guys see, we got that front plate on there, man. Let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys think, how does it look. Me personally, I ain't gonna lie, I love it. Like if it was a regular plate, I would never have done it, ever. But that, that's hard, man. But yeah, man, like I was saying, huge shout out to Wildhammer Motorsports. Again, promo code pops up right here. IG pops up right here. And they're all linked in the description down below. Make sure you guys go tap in with them. Get your products from them. Use the promo code. Save yourself some money. But yeah, man. Sheesh. I ain't gonna lie. I'm trying to tell y'all I love it. And I'm not even a front license plate kind of guy but that just looks so good to me y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below remember before you drop a comment at the beginning of your comment put your social media handle on there so we can go tap in with you on your instagram or whatever social media platform you put on there everybody in the ji squad can go rock with you i can go rock with you and then vice versa for everybody else who comments man but with that being said y'all make sure y'all hit that thumbs up i'll see y'all in the next one peace